welcome back to another training vlog so this week is the first week of march i missed last week i was sick all week basically finally got that flu that everybody else seems to have been getting um it's just a full week off training particularly with the amount of training at the moment different running sessions squatting sessions jiu-jitsu i just took the decision to stop training completely basically and not prolong it uh basically just get over it gave my body a bit of a chance to to get over whatever was happening so yeah i the last training session i did i think was last tuesday and no last monday and yeah since then i just rested up so we're tomorrow morning is going to be busy a 5k early so i think a 5k at around 6 30 a.m then go to jujitsu and then do some squats afterwards. So I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the squats tomorrow, just see how I'm feeling. And right now it's prepping time. So it's like 11 p.m. I'm just back from training on the Monday night. So the big thing that I'd noticed the last few weeks in training is that I just hadn't been prepped, hadn't been logistically prepared for training. So what I'm gonna do now is just make up a gear bag basically for the whole week. I uh, have a few of my geese in there, have all the gear I need in there, all of my supplements and things like that, and then just be in a better position to do the sessions and not be kind of running around the place trying to get myself sorted last minute. The other part of that, of course, just as importantly, is prepping some food. So I'm gonna make a batch of kind of two different meals and just have those sitting in the fridge and ready to go. Good morning. It's just after six. Time to go and run. I fucking hate training. <coughs> Let's wake Murphy up. Hello, my little pretty boy. So here's the food from last night. Some chicken. Some like taco medicine. Some burgers. Today is the first day with new running shoes. So we've got these. Brooks Ghosts. Thanks very much to everybody who made recommendations in the comments. Went with, there's a really good running store and you go in and get, and get fitted and stuff. So I just took their advice along with yours. So thanks very much for that. So this is, I don't have a shaker, but this is a, a revolutionary, revolutionary new idea. Oh, Murphy's at the window. Better let him in. Uh, so yeah, here's the, the pre-workout. Pre workout drink in a bag. So that run was nice and easy, just over 3k. Finished now and time to head to Jiu Jitsu. Hello cutie pie. So on to squats now. This is gonna be a quick session. Just get them done and out of the way. So squats have been feeling quite good. I'm a bit lighter now, but it, it hasn't really made a, an impact on how the squats feel yet. I'm just checking the Seek Your Strength app to see what my squats are for today. <clears throat> so RTA 2.0. Okay, so 125 kilos-ish. For five by five, this would be nice and handy. Big thing with today's session is I don't want to push the pace too crazy 
So I won't be taking five minutes of rest or anything near that, but I will just make sure I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna jumping straight into another set immediately just for the sake of it. Uh, just need to make sure I'm fully, fully recovered before I get back into it. The Brooks running shoes actually felt very, very nice. The first run with a, a new pair of shoes seldom feels great, to be honest, in my opinion. I think it usually takes a while for them to, to kind of bed in or, or get broken in. In this case, though, so really, really nice. Felt great from the start. I got some pairs of second skin or two skin running socks on you guys recommendations so thanks very much for that uh, hopefully they'll help with the the spikes as well I was going to wear the Addy Star 2008 today and judging by how those squats look and feel I am so glad I didn't. So ankles fair bit tighter. This isn't a problem so much of like range of motion it's just a problem of tiredness and relative tightness from the running and from the Jiu Jitsu. So it's not like a thing where I'm going to spend 15 minutes on mobility and it's going to drastically improve because to be honest it won't drastically improve it's just it's just fatigue. So, continue on. A few more sets of the empty bear. A few more cuddly boys. Murphy has been on bed rest or low activity for the last three days because he got his uh, balls chopped off on Friday. So, he's back to some activity today. Vishles do not do well with exercise, without exercise. They need a lot of exercise. Yeah, all the time. You know, the worst thing about this intro workout is that so there's four or five different things in it. I know for a fact most of them taste great on their own. The bulk powders, electrolytes are incredibly sweet. They're like sickly sweet. But the rest of the stuff is like really good flavors. But when you mix them together, they taste like ass. And not in a good way. Like just the worst mix of flavors ever. The only thing I can, I can compare it to is like after you're, like you've stayed over at a house party, the next morning there's like a random mix of soft drinks that you pour into a pint glass and they're all like flat and some of them are warm and there's lilt and coke and tenora and everything mixes together and it tastes like ass but you still drink it. This is exactly what that intro workout tastes like.
So on to set three now. This seems to always be how training goes. A message will come in or a phone call will come. Another five minutes delayed. Everything feels good on the squats. I've had a an issue for the last 10 years where my adductors get tight as I'm squatting and they kind of cramp up. And it usually starts to happen around second last or the last set. So bang on time. Two sets to go. I felt grand. Looked shite. Cause it was, but it's all good. That was a uh, a grinder. It's a strange camera angle. Why do people go into calorie deficits? Why do people want to be lighter? This is a terrible idea. Cutting weight and squatting aggressively is not as fun as gaining weight and squatting aggressively. Who wants to be under 100 kilos? This is some kind of sick joke. It's strange to think I spent a massive portion of my athletic career trying to be as big, as strong, and as fast as possible. And now I'm trying to be as light as possible, as aerobically conditioned as possible, but not necessarily as fast as possible. And I'm trying to be just kind of as strong as I was before, but also basically be weaker in everything else I'm doing. It's a, it's a weird kind of paradox. Also, Murphy's after sitting into my gear bag. And nice. Usually, most of the time, if you're an amateur athlete, which I am, which most of us are, most of the time you're just trying to get better at everything. Maybe you're concentrating on one thing more than the other. Maybe you're taking some time to gain some muscle or taking some time to gain some strength or power or speed or conditioning or whatever. But it's rare enough where you take a noted step back. I mean noted step back, like feeling very, very weak. Just all to try and achieve some dumb thing. Training's terrible. So job done, the only thing left to do now is record some squatting kind of tactical demonstrations and I'm just pulling up the list here. So basically I'm just demonstrating common faults that happen in people's squats. This is for an upcoming Sika video which will be out a few days after you see this training vlog. So the first one is a good morning style squat where you're hinging forward. I've demonstrated a lot of those already today. Next one is heels coming off the ground, weighted. Oh, and then there's some accessories to go that's a weighted front foot elevated split squats. I must first translate Owen Murphy's notes. Super weight grip, vertical elbows, perfect. Let's go. 